Hello, my little curly fries. How are you guys doing? Um, today I'm bringing you a bit of a casual video. Um, just talking about some changes and some goals I have for my channel and for just like my bookish content in general. Um, it's not anything like groundbreaking most people are putting these type of videos out <laughs> around this time of year um as usual disclaimers for anything you hear in the background because my children exist <laughs> and you know they're free to make all the noise in the world that they want um so without further ado let's just get into what um changes i'll be doing first things first after a lot of deliberation, um, <laughs> I was wondering if I wanted to create another platform for myself to be on, being that I'm like so inconsistent <laughs> on my other platforms such as YouTube and my Instagram. Um, I would say the platform that I'm mostly consistent on besides like story graph and Goodreads <laughs> is like Twitter. Um but I decided that I would make a book talk. Is that what the is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> um, yeah, so I have created a book talk. Um, I'll leave the link to it down below in the description box if you guys want to give it a follow. I won't be posting content on there until January. Um, you know, new slate and all that. Uh, and the main reason why I decided to make a book talk is because I want to move over a lot of reviews for like single books and stuff onto that platform. I feel like book talk with the way it's growing, there's a larger audience for things like that. Um, and I really want to bring a lot of exposure to the authors whose books I review, especially indie authors. So I feel like I can give them a little bit more exposure on book talk. A lot of things seems to be like fast growing there. Um, that's not to say that I will never do a book review on my channel. Um, I still plan on doing it, but they don't do so well on um, YouTube like reviews. And I'm not doing it for views. Like <laughs> I'm literally just, I want more exposure for these authors because I do read and review a lot of indie authors and, you know, exposure is like one of the biggest things that they need and so I feel like being on that bookish sphere bookish sphere is that how you say it? <laughs> would um help a lot so I don't know uh I plan yeah I plan on putting my um book reviews keeping it mainly over on book talk so again I will link it down below for you guys to follow if you would like to um obviously no pressure uh next change that i want to do is about my book content on here i want to do more long form videos i want to do more reading vlogs more projects um i have a lot of like themed reading vlogs that i want to do and i just i don't know i scrapped so many videos this year so many projects and ideas that I had because I felt like no one would really be interested in them and also I felt like um and I just felt like um I don't know it just it was a lot of like negative talk to myself to be quite honest um one of the things and this also is like a goal that I have oh, well okay the next goal that I have is like to not care about like aesthetic I mean I'm not an aesthetic person to begin with and normally I don't really care but a lot of a lot of the reason why I've been so much more inconsistent this year than I was last year besides the fact of me like being pregnant and giving birth and all that um it also had to do with the fact that every time I would film a video if I didn't feel like I had good enough lighting or if I didn't feel like I was filming in front of you know a pretty background or whatever I would scrap the video and so a lot of long form content, a lot of reading vlogs that I wanted to do, I never put out there. I just scrapped them entirely. Mind you, I would have like upwards of like 30 minutes worth of footage and 
I would either be in the editing process or filming another clip and I would just be like, you know what, forget this, I'm not doing this because I don't like the way it looks. Um, and I just want to go back to not caring about that stuff, just filming just because I like to film. I don't ever want to fall into the pit of like, my videos have to look like everybody else's videos. I have to have this B-roll. I have to have this music. I have to have this background. Like, you know, I am me. I am my own person. We are all like, you know, our own individuals. And, you know, I know when I go on YouTube, I don't look for the same videos. Like if I like this person's videos, I'm not looking for every video that I watch to be following that person's like style or format, you know? So it's like, why am I putting that pressure on me? You know, I like a variety of different content creators for different things that they bring to their videos. So it's like, I don't see why I was limiting myself into this box and it was making me not want to film. And yeah, so that's part of why I was very inconsistent. So I just want to focus on filming this stuff that I'm interested in filming, doing more long form content and not focusing so much on how it's going to look to everybody else. Just if I have fun with it, if I'm talking about books that I enjoy, like that's all I want, <laughs> if that made any sense. <laughs> um, another thing that, another goal <laughs> that I have um, is obviously, I already have talked about in my last video, I did my announcement for uh, my book club, but that all ties in together with me like doing more like reading sprints and stuff like that. Like I want to be live <laughs> on my channel um, more. Uh, the only times I've ever been live on my channel has been for when I was doing the genre soup book club and we would have lives on my channel if it was my turn to host. And that's about it. But I do want to do reading sprints and stuff like that. I have a lot of um, anxiety <laughs> and also not a lot of free time. So put those together and reading sprints have just not been a thing as a result of that. But I want to change that in 2024. Um, I also uh, going into actually a little mini announcement here um speaking of genre book club genre soup book club we have been on a hiatus because life was just life and I was due to give birth anytime soon when we like did our last like live um and uh Hugo had a lot like um a lot of things with school going on so did Natalie and I and um oh god melody too like there was just so much going on in our lives that it was just hard for us to like keep to a schedule and for us to really just even have the spark or the interest in doing it because we were just so swamped um but we have been in talks and in 2024 genre soup book club will be back um we are gonna be starting off strong in january um uh the book that we will be reading is this one I can't remember the name of it but it is a romance we wanted to do we wanted to start off with something light because again we've been on a hi hiatus for quite a bit we've been on a bit of a hiatus and you know I'm glad that we're coming back um I don't know exactly who's going to be doing the first live show or anything like that I don't know any of those details yet but we do have a discord if you guys want to um pop on there so you guys can get um better updates than i can give <laughs> but yes that's coming back so i also am hosting a very chill read-along over on storygraph because storygraph has now announced the read-along feature um i am hosting a read-along of the sun eater series i think it's called by Christopher Ruscio, so starting with the Empire of Silence. Um, his latest book in that series, I don't know if it's the last book in the series, but it's the latest one, comes out in 2024. So from January to December, we will be doing, we will be reading those series if you guys want to join. I will have that link down below as well. So you guys can follow me on Storygraph and you guys can like follow the read along. Um, we'll be reading one book per month 
and I'm very excited because this is a series that I've been wanting to get to for a while. I've been wanting to read more sci-fi. Um, I love my fantasies, don't get me wrong. I love my literary fictions and all that, but sci-fi has been a genre that I've also enjoyed every single time I picked it up, but I just have not made it a priority to read more sci-fi, and I really want to change that for 2024. Um, what else? I want to do author interviews, like either on the blog. Um, I'm a part of the Before You Go blog. I am a contributor there. So I want to do author interviews on there, but I also want to do author interviews on my channel. Um, it's something I've had a lot of anxiety about too, because I'm very shy in asking people like, hey, like it, it takes a lot for me to ask somebody, like ask an author to be like, you know, oh, um, would you, can I like, can I have an arc to like review on my channel, whatever. So it's, just even asking them for like an interview just makes me even more nervous. Um, I know I'm a grown person. I am an adult and I do adult things, but <laughs> talking to people is one of those adult things that just like, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% comfortable with it all the time, but yeah, I want to do more author interviews. That's why I, for my book club, Strictly Indie, I did say that there will be some times, if we enjoyed the book, where we will be interviewing authors that they want to be interviewed, because I want to push myself to do that. Um, and yeah, there's that. Uh, is there anything else that I will be changing? Oh, I do want to bring wrap-ups. I don't know if I'm going to do wrap-ups on my channel or if I'm going to strictly keep them on Book Talk. I don't really know exactly yet, but I do want to bring wrap-ups back. I stopped doing wrap-ups this year because I felt like I talked way too much. Like, they would be like 30 minutes plus <laughs> of me talking about the books, no matter how many books I read. I could have read like five books that month and it would still be a 30 pl minute plus video because I just don't know how to shut up and I talk way too much about the books that I enjoy. And I felt like people weren't interested in that. I'm not too sure. I mean, I felt like my wrap-ups didn't do bad considering all the other videos I've done on my channel. Like, I felt like wrap-ups were one of my best performing ones. But I still just felt like, oh, you know, maybe it's too long. Because I've seen people, like, literally review, like, 30 books. Like, they've read 30 books in that month and they talk about it in, like, a 15-minute video. And I'm just like, how? Teach me your ways. Um... But I kind of miss doing them. I like updating guys on what I've read and talking about what I thought about them. And obviously, I can't do an individual review for every single book I read um, in a year. So wrap-ups really do help to talk about a chunk of books. Um, I don't know how I want to do them. I have played with the idea of recording clips after I finish a book. Like just, you know, giving a couple of sentences as to my thoughts to that book. And then compiling them all together into a video. But every time I try to do that, I end up forgetting that I'm supposed to be filming after every book I finish. <laughs> and I finish like 10 more books and then I'm like, oh crap, I have 10 clips I gotta film. And then I get overwhelmed and then I just scrap it. But wrap-ups will be coming back. On the channel or on Book Talk, I'm not too sure. One or the other, you will know. Um, anything else? Uh, it's not really a channel thing. But I do want to focus, like, work better on my reviewing style, like, my written review styles, because I feel like it can use a bit of a work. Um, I don't think I'm, like, the worst reviewer, but I also feel like I could be a little bit more cohesive. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. When I talk about what would I write my reviews, um, especially now that I do, uh, I do have this, like, blog family that I'm part of. Uh... So I do want to do that. <laughs> I don't know where this video is going. But yeah, those are like some of the goals I have. And obviously the overarching goal of the whole thing, like I said in my last video, is I just want to have fun. I want to continue to have fun. Um, I came across so many good books in 2023 and I hope that continues into 2024. I had a really good reading year this year. I came across a lot of new to me authors that I've really enjoyed I've read way more indie and a lot of them I've enjoyed I think there's been like maybe one or two that I haven't um indie wise which is amazing but yeah I 
think that's everything. I know it's all over the place. <laughs> but, you know, I I didn't write anything down. I just started talking about my goals. I had them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I want to do with this channel. Like I said, I will link down the Before We Go blogs uh, Discord down below. I will link my read-along for the Sun Eater series on Storygraph down below. I will link... <laughs> uh, what else am I going to link? I'll link my book talk down below. Um, and I think that's it for links. Is that it for links? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, and yeah, like, hopefully I accomplish these goals. I hope you guys accomplish your goals. Let's kick these goals in the butt. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you guys for supporting me throughout 2023. Well, throughout the entire time I've been making uh, booktube videos since 2019. I am at 343 subscribers, which is wild because I have not been consistent, especially not this year. But you guys still showed up and showed out. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think 2024 is going to be a ride. And I would like to see y'all there. Talk to you later.